Okay, I'm Hello, ready. my name's Ruben and I am interviewing Alan Manis. Have you ever scored a goal? Uh, I have actually scored a goal um, a long time ago when I was playing for my old team called Linfield back in Northern Ireland. Um, I kicked the ball out of my hands and it was very wet that day and it hit the ground and bounced over the goalkeeper's head and went in. So it was uh, quite a good, uh, good feeling to do that. How many hours a day do you train? Um, probably one and a half to two hours probably most days and then a couple of days we'll maybe maybe do that twice through the twice during the day so I would be three to four then so, some days as well I would like to be a goalie too have you got any tips um, just work hard and you know don't give up give it your best shot and just do everything you can to, to try and get to whatever level you want to get to and that's the main thing really, just, um, it's, it's certainly hard to, to get where you want to get I think as a goalkeeper but just, just work hard and keep going and you never know how far you can go. What made you want to be a goalkeeper? Um, I just, I liked uh, jumping around, jumping around the place and you know I kind of was like that as a, as a kid anyway, just jumping around and, and doing all that kind of stuff so it sort of suited me to be a goalkeeper and jump around in the goal and try and stop the ball from going in so. That's probably the main reason why, and I just was probably a bit better than that than I was at any other position, so I just sort of stuck at it. Who is your favourite goalkeeper? Um, well, it was it was Peter Schmeichel. I'd say overall was was Peter Schmeichel when I was growing up was uh, the person that I thought was uh, someone I, I liked to watch. Peter Schmeichel from Man United, I'd say. Who is the funniest Saints player? <laughs> uh, there's a few that think they're very funny and they're they're really not. But I would say probably probably Brian Easton makes me laugh a lot. Just without even trying to be funny, he's just funny, and I just can't help but laugh at him. What is the best team you've played in? Uh, I've been fortunate to have been part of some what I would consider to be good teams with good players and. I'd say a team when I was at Linfield when we we won out every competition that we could win and and just done really well that year. We just had a, a really good team that year and then at Shamrock Rovers, um, the my my last year there we got into Europe and I ended up leaving and coming over here. But I thought we had a really good team there as well and and then I think since I've been over here as well, our, our team last year was really good and, and this year I think we're probably even better. So there's a, there's a couple of answers there for you. What is the best stadium you've played in? I like playing at I like playing at Hibs and, and Hearts Grounds because they're they're you know big big stadiums and they're they're good to play in. I like playing at uh, Celtics Ground just because it's so big and um, I never got a chance to play at Rangers Ground. That would have been good, but I was there when we played them. I was on the bench. I didn't get to play that. That would have been good to play there. Um, so I'd say it would be between them three. Although I like going up and playing against Inverness and, and things like that as well. I kind of like that for some reason, like the travel and then playing. I don't know why, but it's, it can be good fun sometimes. Who works hardest at training? Works hardest? Uh, I would say it would have to be the goalkeepers. I would say uh, I'd say Steve Banks, who's the goalkeeper coach and also one of the goalkeepers. And uh, I'd say some of the, the best saves I've ever seen. Um, from anybody has from has been from Steve Banks, so I have to give it to him. Do you play any other sports? I don't. I don't at the minute. No, I I don't have enough time, or I wouldn't be able to now. But I did used to do a bit of some different martial arts and things like that, and I used to really like that. But I was really into that at one stage, but I can't really do it anymore with the, the football now. When you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, probably always a footballer. There's been. I've wanted to be all sorts of different things, like basketball player and music musician and everything, working in a gym and being a footballer, so lots lots of things. What was your favourite Christmas present this year? Um, let's see. I got a... a my, let me think. Got a few DVDs, a few CDs. Um, my fiance got me like a Samsung uh, computer thing. I'll, that was that was really good. I use that every day, so I'll say that. 
If you could be a superhero for a day, who would you be and why? Who would I be? I'd say, well, Batman's pretty cool, isn't he? Batman and Spider-Man are pretty cool, so it'll probably be between them. Which one do you think's better? Batman. Say Batman, yeah, Batman's good. I'll go with Batman. Okay. I've got something for you here as well, Ruben. I'll give you a pair of gloves, okay? So, I'll just sign them for you as well. How do you spell your name? Ruben. How do you spell it? R-U-B-E-N. Okay. There you go, Ruben. There you go. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Um, you've done a really good job. Thank you very much for asking me them questions. There you go. So Ruben just interviewed Alan Manis. What was that like? Good. Good? Mm-hmm. Now he's your favourite player. Why is he your favourite player? Because he's good at goalkeeping and he doesn't get injured. Yeah, and last one, what was your, your favourite answer that he gave you to one of your questions? Batman.